Oh, ready made, ready, ready. Ready made, mate, ready made. Ready made cash. That's how you can buy drugs in any country. <laughs> Wait, I'll see you soon, man. Catch you soon, man. Hello. Hi. How much are the books? Um, 50. Uh, those ones are a pound, but these are all 50p. That's a complete set. Oh, four, isn't it? I'll take those ones. Oh. I find you, I've got too much stuff. To yeah, you're alright. There you thank go, you. thank you, I appreciate that. No thank worries. you. What a cool. What mate, I'm Doy. Are you keeping well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. You do what you're doing well with Lisa, didn't you? Yeah, it's on. Oh no, you're all right. How much are the shoes? Would a pound take them? Yeah, thank you. What about the Morgans? How much are they? The, what? the ladies' ones. Um, well, they're brand new. You can have those for have those for a couple of quid if you want them, and not a pound. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you. I can't say I've ever put a pair of ladies' shoes in a box. I don't know how you do it. I'm sure that's how you do it. And what about that jacket up there? The red one? They're all genuine. Small. I'll give, I'll give you a fiver. There you go. I think I will. You got change? Thank you, lovey. Um, I, don't have well, I, can I can come back. No, that's five. Look, oh. it's two pound there as well. <laughs> I'll see you, it's fine, I promise you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I could have done you for another quid. Oh, don't wear belts, I'm a shorts man. Oh, you're a shorts man. I'm shorts all year round, it's a lovely belt though. Thank you ever so much, I do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo, I freeze. I'm a weirdo. I freeze and I complain about it, but I do nothing about it. So I'm very strange. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course, thank you. No worries, mate. Thank you very much. I'll have a root, mate. Yeah, see what's going on. How much are the hoodies? Looks like I'm making a pile then, doesn't it? People are going to trash this way more than me, mate. That's what you want. You want a pile? People love rummaging yeah, for a pile. Just let them know. So what I don't, so would do it, but I don't care. Oh, yeah. Sell it in Amber if you want it. Yeah. All right, well, I'll definitely take one, two, these three. Yeah, that's, fine. that's a real one, that one. That's all right. So what's that, 50p as you say, yeah? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, thank you very much, mate. Thank you. How much is your little purse thing? 25p. Oh, that'll do for the coins, won't it? it? Hasn't got to be anything special. I'll tell you what, yeah, take. That one, thank you very much, I appreciate it. How 
How much on the cap, mate? Uh, two pounds. Would a pound take it? Yeah, go on in. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Got to catch it already. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nice. Nice. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Which phones are these? Are they? Uh, so they're the office phones. So I know they're going for about eight pounds on eBay at the moment. We could do it for five or each and get rid of them. Eighty quid. Yeah. What's so good about them? Uh, no disrespect. I don't know. Oh, no, yeah. I think it's, um, it's... Would you do seven for the pair? Uh, no, not really. I would like to... eight. Do 850. Yes, do 850. Let's yeah. give it a bash. Okay. No idea. Work, though, You've lured me in. <laughs> You're on YouTube, are you? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> do you need me to come back? Uh, no, no, it's time. Half asleep, That's alright mate, so 11.50 back isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Have a job, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that mate. No <sighs> Hopefully it warms up a little bit. Yeah. I was on buying trousers. Nice one mate, I appreciate it, thank you very much. I need a new bag already. How much is this, mate? Uh, good, mate. Mm. I don't know what it is to take it. Was you here last week? No, mate. Oh, that's no, not you then. Don't worry, I'm not after a refund. <laughs> to be under the Lovely jubbly. That's further, that's further than most people. That's further than most, mate. Normally it's past the van and you're out of here. One for dive over this one. What about this one, mate? It's like a little hand drill. Uh, two quid. So five, yeah? Yeah, mate. Sweet as. That's for you then, mate. Lovely jubbly. Let me just get around here and sort something out. Bit of gazelle going on, some specials. What size are these, mate? I don't know, you have to double check. Sorry. No worries, no worries. Thank you. No, that's more the chemical hustle. <laughs> Obviously, they're chemicalised, don't they? Eight, yeah? So you got change for a tenner? Yep. Oh, I've got 20, sorry. You got change for 20? Yeah. Thank you. Obviously, sometimes the, um, they can smell chemically, can't they? Yeah, I know Them ones are all right. Yeah. Not badly done. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Enjoy. Cool, all the YouTubers here. <laughs> hey, you're all there. How you doing, mate? You right? I'm, I'm, on, hey, I'm, I'm Instagram. I know right. you. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, I won't. I won't stall you, mate. I'll let you um try and find some stuff. Nice to meet you. What was your name again? James. James. Yeah. E easy. E e bizarre recently. E bizarre recent. There you go. Camera's on. Go and follow him. Yeah, cool. Nice one. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. no, no, but you was here last week. Yeah, mate. You done, done, done me some good deals. Yeah. Oh, was it him? Yeah. Oh, is that, where, is that where you got living no, bits no, no, from? Two quid, though.
Same for me. I'm almost too old. I'm coming in. I'm coming in here. All the good stuff. That's all right. Let's take rental fees. That's two pounds. Thank you, lovely. Oh, sorry, I'm on your way there. Stay there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. no, no, you carry on, you carry on. How much is the clothing? Oh, is it? Okay, lovely, thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll take this one, please. There's that. Thank you. I mean, important, but there's that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You too. Thank you. It's too rich. How much is that? How much is that? Oh, shit. That's your plastic bag. Just broke your box lid. Whose is it? Yours? It'll still go on there. I've just cracked the edge of it, that's all. How much is the clicker? For a PC? That was that fish box, wasn't it? I think so. It's from here. Was that 50p? Yeah, 50p. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse my language. Fucking read. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, yeah. Yeah. Who? Oh, how are you doing, mate? You alright? You good? Yeah, yeah. Nice to see yeah. you, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you winning? I've had to go and empty your bag already. Yeah, I've, 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 I've took a bag in. It's been, uh, been worth getting up to, mate. Yeah, that's decent, man. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Well, I, yeah, not too bad. I, I, I filled a bag. I'm going to try and fill two more. It's, uh, it's a good turnout today. There's a few people here today that you yeah. might recognise. Definitely. Yeah. Week, yeah. Well, it's been good to meet you, man. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll see you about ten times around the car yeah, boot anyway. How much are the cassette tapes? Um, I definitely don't want them all before you offer me them all. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want them all. Don't want them all. Yeah, go on. Fudge it. Well, I, haven't got, I haven't got a look for them then, have I? There's two or three that I like in there, that's it. I'll see, I'll see them. Yeah. I should have waited. By the time I leave here, I could have just given you a note. <laughs> Thanks. I'll put the boxes back. Oh. I was going to save it, but I didn't know if I should get involved or not. Is it, is it in your way? That's, that's, uh, that's, that's her stuff. <laughs> You're welcome to carry it for me if you want. Yeah, no. How much is the radio, please? Um, is it DAB? It's not, is it? Am I being thick? Oh, it's synthesised, isn't it? That's why. Yeah. Would three pound take it? Yeah. 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 Thank you. How much on the balance? Two pounds. We've got to change. Can you break a ten? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I try to hold off on that as much as I can. Because then you're likely to spend the rest. Well, no, it's guys, because obviously you don't, not everyone goes out and gets I, changed in the morning. I always then. come with Prepared. plenty of change. Yeah, good on you. Yeah. I, know, I know what it's like. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. That one's two pounds. How much is the coat? 40. 40? Yeah. I'm not knocking your price, I promise you.
some antique shirts How much are they? Eleven for a pound each. Oh, l l let me let me make a little pile and see what we got, yeah. Let's have a look what you got. Let's have a look. See if if not if not, I'll hang them back. I'll hang them up for you. If not, that got... one's been autographed actually. Has it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I've got nine so far. Nine? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't messing around with you. No, for, oh God, I'll chop them off, mate. 10. Well, I've got 10, I'm going to come round to you. Right, okay. You can have a check if you like. No, no, you sure? You sure? Any more t-shirts like that? Is that it? Uh, no, that's it. That's it, mate, no worries, I'll clear you out. Now, I've got, I've only got that. Have you got, oh. have you got a tenner? No. Hold on, let me have a look. Let me see what no, I can right. do. Hold on. We might be okay. We might be all right. 50, there we go, all right, that's 50. You get in there, me old China. All right, take this for a second, there's 4, 50, 5. Right. And there's your 10. I appreciate that, mate, really kind of you. Good. Take care, have a good one. Yeah, okay, thank you. Da -da 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 -da. Who stalls this? I know who to shout out if I want some. Is this yours? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I understand that, because stuff gets ruined, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, a bit of pad and sell like them. Pick it up, you should pick it up, mate. This is a bit of you, isn't it? Ooh. Of course, well, the thing is, obviously it's... Jesus Christ, I want, to, I want to come and look in the garage. I want to come and look in the garage. That's fair, I understand. I'll show you roughly. I can imagine, I bet it's, I bet it's Ramo. Oh yeah, you managed to get it through. And seven years it's been like that. Yep. You can tell from the Safeway basket. Oh, we've well, got a nice little bit of a yeah. task, haven't you? We had a nice little um, pile of scrap as well. Out yeah, of so we've got some, we've got some nice wood oh. to get rid of. You can actually see in there now, though. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, you've done well. Definitely done well. Mm. That's just cardboard, because it literally is crumbling yeah, as crumbling you're picking it out. Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's... Yeah. No. I'm gonna come back and have a router once I finish the booty. You can you can be my second lap. How much is the mirror? John. How much that mirror? Big one's ten, I little one's Lovely, thank you very much. I'll come back. Alright, thank you. What's so, so was it here where you found that sealed game and stuff? Yeah, they came in at the end. At the end? Yeah. So I was literally rushing, 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 rushing. I was like, I need to be somewhere. And um, all I saw 
all day it was people who had been here of all, of all their stuff I was like oh man honestly I had no idea actually what the price of them were yeah, you're always going to pick it up aren't you you're always going to pick yeah. up steel playstation yeah, still, stuff you, know, you can have it all of it for a five but you won't take the broken PS3 with you I was like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> well the broken PS3 it's worth probably 20 quid on its own broken oh yeah anything sealed but, like, just yeah. grab it innit but you'd have paid for it you know Oh, ready made, ready, ready. Ready made, mate, ready made. Ready made cash. That's how you can buy drugs in any country. <laughs> Perfect. I heard it's all chip and pin now, anyway, for the old chip and pin for the Ganjuana. <laughs> Here we have a wild Billy Bentley searching for the goods. Searching for the gold, trying to find his best greenery. <laughs> Love that shit though. Is that, is that regatta? Oh no, it's a, red, a reddish. I sold this but with a gilet, the exact pattern, um, without, without sleeves. I've got 25 for mine. There's got to be 35 in that, in there. Most excited thing about his I think I'm going to finish this row here. And then get here and get to. Oh, which way are you going? You're going that way? Yeah. Don't talk about the camera. Oh, it is on, isn't it? Well, if I don't see you, man, listen. Um, you What's like this at Skitches? <laughs> yeah, Billy, show us your bag, man. Nicker, bro. You can put the camera on him. It's on now. I was fucking okay. I couldn't be fucked, but they're a quid. So yeah, quid not? you're not leaving I them, are you? I said, I want to see to this camera in his shoes. I thought she was a three quid. I was doing a three quid, so I said two. I was like, rather than be friendly, I think I've got one. Then I think it's a Billy, if I don't see you, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching tomorrow and come back. <laughs> Right, that's car boot number one done. Filled a couple of bags. Um, it's quite good. Uh, it's nice to meet a couple of you guys. So thank you very much for coming over and saying hello. I'm gonna nick this spot just here. Can I fit in? Can I fit live? Live bit of parking. Can I do it? <laughs> yeah, boy. Right. Uh, yeah. So car boot number two. Let's see how we get on. How much is it, mate? Oh, that's too. Sorry, man, being thick. It's all right. Nice one. Get out of here. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Sell me things. Oh, it's nice sat nav there. Oh yeah, we all need a sat nav in life because we're, we're all lost, don't we? Yeah, yes. So I've been some places I never get without a sat nav. USB sticks, golf Sad, balls. Sadly, not for me. No. What? I'm sure there. I'm sure there'll be something one day. <laughs> you live in hope, do you? Of course. What else do we have? Yeah. How much is the type in? Is it a type in? It is a type, yeah. 50p. Quite nice. Go on then. There you go, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Is that a table? Camping table. I'll open it. It might be a camping table and chair. Let me have a look. How much is it? Three pounds. Well, I've got to take it for that, and I. Yeah. She'll be happy. Do you mind if I leave it here? Is that all right? Yeah, I'll no, come and collect it after. Won't be long. That's okay. If I put man in quick sort shirt, is that okay? Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't be long. I'll put it. Where do you want it? I'll put it just back in the pack. There you go. Thank right, you. Thank you. Safe is taking it home. Bless you. Let's see what else you got. I think it's taken in chairs. Yeah, I think it sort of folds out so it's not easier for camping and stuff. Yeah. I'm changing me uh, doodah. Tell me what a doodah is. I'm going to say, tell me. <laughs> I can tell you. It means t shirt, it means jumper, and it means shoes. Oh, and there we go, socks. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. 
Look at the levels of pettiness from the person that was painting that house. Obviously, they're all separately owned businesses, but just stick another lick on it, isn't it? Poor bastard. Car boot number three. Oh, go on then. Well, I'm not too sure what's going on here, but that looks like somewhere I want to be. I'm not going to be filming on the GoPro here because I've just looked at it and I've been recording for the last 46 minutes on the way home from the last car boot sale. So we'll try and get what we can here, but I can't imagine it'll be too much. Look at that. It's absolutely wham today, car boot sale. It's massive. It's actually massive today. I left my bag in the car. I'm not going back for it. Can't bother. Okay, we are home and we have some good stuff. I've had it all out. Had a quick little look through and see what we got. Um, nothing's going to change my life, but I have got some good little bits in there. So without further ado, I'm going to spin you around and run you through old school and show you the way that, show you what I picked up. So let's get into it. Well, I'm going to try not to blind you with the lights. Whoa, but um, here's the stuff that we picked up. I'll give you a quick little overview and then we'll run through it. I'll tell you my reasoning for picking it up. First of all, we've got a big table and chairs. It folds up, I paid three pound, sold to the man in a Quicksilver shirt. I was wearing a Quicksilver shirt, I'm not now. Paid three pound, look at around about 30 pound on Facebook Marketplace, or I'll keep it for if we ever go anywhere, which you won't, so I'm probably gonna sell it. But it was nice and cheap. Is that a crack? No, it's a bit of fluff. Guitar Hero with the dongle and a game. This is from Paul. Pat threw in an extra game, so thank you guys, I appreciate that. Uh, maybe 15 to 20 quid back on that. Might even be able to dongle separate, but I think the PS3 ones are not really worth it. I think you might as well bang them with the guitar. So happy to pick that up. Pick these up because these are, I believe, are the exact same ones that was in Rummage's video yesterday. And what annoyed me was I never picked these up, but just because just because I saw them and they were fresh in my head, I bought them, paid £5. Not sure what they're worth, I haven't even researched them yet, to be honest with you. Can't be bothered, don't even care. It's just because I saw them fresh in my head yesterday. A nice little multi-quantity list in here. We got one, two, three, four, five packets of 12, I believe it's in a box, plus these. Paid them £10 for the lot. These sell for about 260 I think. And I'm going to multi-quantity list them and just let them trickle out and keep that algorithm tickled nicely. A bunch of cassette tapes. Um, are these are the ones that I've picked out that are worth selling separately. Yeah, anything over a fiver, I will sell separately. The rest of it is all just fodder. That'll go with my other bundle. Nothing too special there. Paid £2 for the lot. I'll probably sell the case for 10 to 15 quid as well. Picked up some Morgan Detoy. I don't know how you say it. They're just boots, shoes. I paid £2 for those the same time that I bought these off her. I paid a pound for these. These are Gucci loafers. They are legit. I've legit checked them. I've gone through all the checking, all the testing. These ones are absolutely fine. And they were a pound. Stole them. Silly, silly size though. Size five. Nothing spectacular. Um, yeah, but these are... These are fine, these are legit, these are nice. Um, I'm, looking, I'm hopefully looking at three figures for them, but we'll have to double check and see if I can get them nice and clean and see what they're selling for at the minute. I believe they're old, not but not too old. There's a few models out after this. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little find that is. One pound Gucci's, hello there. Picked up this little mouse clicker from the same people that I paid, I bought this from, paid 50p for it. I'm hoping maybe 15 to 20 quid for it. It's older, it's a bull track, it's Disney. Yeah, we'll have to see what we can get out of that. Hopefully 15 to 20 quid will be nice. Christian Dior tie pin. I don't know if it's legit, but the geezer reckons it's a replica, but I don't think it is. I don't know who's faking it. Maybe, who knows? It was 50p, I think, or a pound, not sure. Paid a pound for one to four paperback box set of the Harry Potter books. These are the Bloomsburg, Bloomsbury, of course. Maybe 15 to 20 quid back on them. Overpaid on this, paid three pounds worth, about 15 quid. Not gonna bore you with that too much. I think I paid eight pounds 50 for each of these. They are both brand new, apart from this one's packet and it's been knocked around a bit, but the packet's come off. Um, hopefully, looking at around about, well, someone's got one listed for 90 each, but I don't know about that. I might try and list them both together. I'll probably put a list of about 60 quid on for both of them and see what happens. Just see, see where we go from there. Um, save these till last because, yeah. Chapman Tool Stanley. So I paid the bloke five pounds for this, which has the original receipt, which is lovely. Look at that. Twenty third of February, nineteen seventy nine. Four pounds ninety five paid. Paid a five for that. Plus this RFD vintage life saving device. Don't know what it's worth, but I'm um, for five quid. I was always going to pick it up. I paid. I think I paid a quid for that off the bloke that I bought the phones from. 
I'm not too sure what the value is on them. Little fake Louis V purse thing because it's uh, it's like a big pocket one, so I can actually use that myself to like put all my cash on my coins and stuff, ready for the boot. Nobody needs to see it. And I think that's it. Then we're going to go through the clothing, I think. Yeah, let's go through the clothing. Got a pretty green knitted jumper with a nice little detail going down through here. Pretty green sells quite well. I think I paid a pound for that. I paid 50p each for this plain waffle knit Izod. Just plain. Nothing special going on there. And another one, but in grey, exactly the same. 50p for that. And 50p for this the Stronghold hoodie. Again, it's not worth too much, but it's nice, thick, chunky. It reminds me of sort of a Levi's brand. It's not. Um, 50p for that, so 150 each for the whole lot. Bargain, isn't it? Then we're going to move on to some of the uh, vintage T-shirts. Now, I might turn the camera around for that so I can show you in a bit more detail. In fact, let me just tell you these first because I forgot. I paid £8 for these because they're in, like, new other condition. I don't think they're real because if they are real, these are very, very expensive trainers. Although what I'm struggling to deal with is the fact that, you know, the suede on these is really, really good. And that's one of the telltale signs that they're fake. But I need to really, really look into them. I've been looking at some videos online. And, I mean, even the swoosh matches up. To, there's just so much that I need to look at just to make sure that they are capped. Because... I tell you what, fakes are getting so good these days, I'm telling you. But they're my size, they're a size UK 11. So worst case scenario, daddy gonna rock them. I don't mind wearing fakes, I've told you this a million times before, I couldn't care less. I'm not flossing, but I like the design. I'll have to have a look into those, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this video with these, because I don't know, there might be another video about them another day, or at least an update whether they're fake or not, but they're very, very good if they are. Right, let's move on to some of these, my favourite finds of the day. Okay, right, so, um, this bloke gave, oh, I forgot about this one as well. I think I posted, I definitely posted this one on Instagram. Got a billionaire boys club top, legit. Size small though, but this does fit me, and I would normally wear an XL, so obviously billionaire boys club not designed to be too slim fitting, well, not a lot of anyway. Um, so it would fit a nice medium comfortably, or a large tight, this would fit. Um, but yeah, five pound I paid for that. Just, 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 just robbed it. Just, just thiefed it off the... Right. So, I paid one pound each for all of these. One pound each. So got a nice LCR Honda Castrol top. Nothing too exciting, but well worth the pound. Probably get 15, 20 quid back on that. Maybe. There's so many. I need to look at the sponsors and see what sort of year it came out. Um, right, and then we got a nice vintage. I think it's nineties. It's got a really nice thin into it. I, I, I really, I really like that one. Again, maybe fifteen to twenty quid back on that. Most of these are most of these are valued roughly at twenty fifteen to twenty five pounds. Some of them could be worth a hell of a lot more, but I need to do some proper research first. So for the video purposes, let's say I'm out. I'm valuing these at around about twenty quid a pop. That gives me two hundred pound out of a ten pound spend. But I think some of these are going to be worth a bit more. So we've got this, I believe this to be like a nice 70s design. So, and so it's got that, but then again, I don't know, it could even be it could even be later actually. Oh, that one's thrown me a little bit. I need to look and see when the event was. That's what I mean, I need to look into them. But we've got this nice um these are all motorbike related. So Grand Prix Deutschland Moto Von. Uh what does that say there? Moto Drum Hockenheim Ring. So, I need to look at the event. I need to look at, uh, you know, try and find years, try and find dates, try and find some sort of provenance around them, uh, which will help me with, obviously, pricing as well. But these are all quite cool. They're all very dirty. I need to clean them. So, we've got British Grand Prix 1990. World Championships, Donington Park. See, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to to find and to date and in turn uh, price them. I believe this one to be sort of 80s, 70s from the cut, from the design, from the way that the T-shirt's made. Um, do, you see, do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I mean by that? You can really see it in that sort of era, can't you? Tag just has a crown on it, so that could mean something. But Grand Prix Nuremberg ring.
They're awesome. They're really, really good. I'm starting to notice a very German theme here. I have Googled this one, because obviously you can Google the TT78. Um, so this is 70s. I haven't, I haven't found the T-shirt, but I found the event. Understand what I mean? SBK Big Fun, Big Fun Superbike. This is a 90s looking one. So I've got a lot of research to do on them. I find out background, then I can actually price them because I don't know price at the minute. Uh, TT90 again, Assen, but 60E Dutch. So I'm noticing a very German related theme here. The guy didn't seem German, so God knows. And this one, I think, might even be... Oh, this one, this one is 1979. So, Millennium of the Tin World. That's probably a place, I'm not sure. Um, 979 till 1979. It's got a real 70s cut design, rimmed on the ends. And last but not least is this one. Uh, I believe it to be 80s, possibly. Maybe earlier, I'm not too sure. It's got a sort of football shirt feel like a nylon-y kind of thing and it's got him on the front it's all single stitched out and it's got a signature on the back which i believe to the guy said it was his signature whoever he is so i've got some research to do to find out haven't i and i think that's it unless i've missed anything so not spectacular but some really cool bits and some stuff that i like to sell personally and i'm very happy with my multi-listed quantity item before i go i want to say a Big thank you and a big shout out to Project Games. He sent me this off his own back randomly. Just said, right, I've sent you a present. I hope you like it. And I've forgotten about it until then. And then this arrived on Saturday, I think. Yeah, Saturday. And um, out hash me then. So hash browns seem to have become a little bit of a thing on the channel. And uh, I'm not too sure. Well, I know why. It's because I, I munched them all on car boots. It's my car boot fuel, but it was purely unintentional. But I'll go with the flow. Project, I appreciate you. So this is going to get worn. Well, it'll get worn until it's got holes in it. So thank you again, mate. I do appreciate it. So top job there, Matt, mate. Thank you very much. Matt is his birth certificate name. His name is not Project Games on his birth certificate, as far as I know. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you once again for joining me for another video. It has been a hell of a bank holiday so far. We've got tomorrow to kick off yet. So without further ado... I bid you adieu, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Ta-da.